um, tents obviously not a, a good place to be in. If you can find a sturdy shelter, you know, a lot of, you know, camping sites will have, maybe they're a little bit more modified camping sites uh, if you have electricity to be able to, you know, kind of see what's going on. Uh, bathrooms are all oftentimes, they have a foundation, they have some brick wall, that would be the safe place to be to go to the bath, uh, to go into the bathroom there. And again, the tornado warning goes out to about Route 4. So if you are in Bristol or closer to 93, again, you have a couple minutes yet to kind of see what this storm does. But again, still has the potential to produce those 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. If you're beyond Interstate 93, Laconia over toward Lake Wodepasaki, you're not in the severe thunderstorm warning and I'll say yet because we'll see what the National Weather Service does as the storm continues to track off toward the east. But any kind of sturdy structure you can get in is your best bet going forward. And even your car better than, you know, hanging out in a tent uh, where a tree could maybe come down. There's literally no protection from a tent outside of maybe keeping you dry, which is um, the least of our concerns right now. So, again, if you're in the tornado warning and you are out camping and you are in a tent, uh, any st sturdy structure is, is better, of course, than being in your tent. Washington. There's coverage here of a tornado warning in uh, the middle part of New Hampshire here as we're watching live coverage here. Our meteorologist Josh Worcester is keeping us up to date here as this is set to expire at 2.15 as he zooms out here to show you where this is uh, north of Concord right here. Um, this does include or will include uh, the Lake Winnipesaukee area eventually if the storm does hold together. Josh is standing by with the latest information right now as he's looking at the latest information. Yeah, right. And like we were talking about, um, we, we had the potential of strong to severe storms in the forecast. It's a, a cold front that's sliding on through the area and when it slides through the heat and the humidity like we have now like we've had the past several days that is fuel for these storms to work with so they have a lot of energy they can tap into now notice you can follow the line it's basically right along the Connecticut River all the way down into Hartford you can see that broken line of showers and thunderstorms in fact a few of those showers and thunderstorms working now into western Massachusetts these are not severe and we we're saying yesterday, we didn't expect every single one of these cells to be severe. The thing is, you can't really pinpoint which one is going to be severe. It's the, the threat that any single one of these could tap into enough energy to produce severe weather. That's damaging wind gusts, uh, officially over 60 miles an hour, one inch hail, perhaps a tornado. And the tornado threat is incredibly isolated, but it's not zero. We had one earlier on this afternoon up across northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire. That's that one. It's currently a severe thunderstorm warning but it was a tornado warning at one point and it could have been for the same reason just radar indicated doesn't mean that there was either you know there was a tornado that was seen that's not the case it could just be radar indicated then you have another one as you get into the northern side of the white mountains working up closer toward mount washington then we have this severe thunderstorm warning that's making its way eastward there's lake winnipesaukee so the good news is there's Concord and Manchester. You're not in the severe thunderstorm warning, and you're also not in the tornado warning either. Then we have the broken showers and thunderstorms that come down Interstate 91 through Berkshire County, Franklin County, Hampshire and Hamden counties, and then another severe thunderstorm warning pushing in toward the Hartford area. So they're not all severe, but you know, any single one of those has the potential to be severe. And like we talked about before, even if the storm is not severe and it doesn't have the official severe thunderstorm warning tagged to it, it can still produce damage because these storms are producing a lot of lightning. And again, to your point, Ryan, is if you're outside camping, you know, you want to take some shelter here because these storms are producing a lot of lightning, whether they're severe or not. So we zoom in on the uh, tornado warning, goes until 2.15. I'll take the lightning off. And again, it's, it's becoming less and less apparent just by the radar signature, which is probably some good news. You notice that little that little inflow notch, if you will. Uh, that would be our best, based on this, set, uh, this radar image, that would be our best indication of where a little rotation might be. When the storm was back way on the kind of the tail end of the severe thunderstorm warning back toward the west of Grantham, there was a decent little hook coming off of it. And that combined with some of the velocity data is a little bit more telling of what a tornado would maybe look like on the radar. But again, this hasn't been seen by a storm spotter. It has not been seen by law enforcement. It's just the National Weather Service looking at radar data and saying, yeah, there's some signs that this is rotating. And if I take it back, you can actually see this is actually falling apart quite a bit. Now, part of that could be as it makes its way into kind of the more of the mountainous regions. The radar has a little bit harder of a time trying to see the storm itself. Um, but again, what we do is we look for the reds and the greens that are tightly packed together. And the greens are becoming less apparent. And the reds, um, they're still there. When you have these bright colors like this, that would be more of a concern than 
you know, what's over here right now when you have these brighter ones uh, packed together. So I do still think that this cell is going to be watched by the National Weather Service. The official time goes until 2.15 and they kind of cycle up and they cycle down. So when we first started uh, coverage and we came on, it had some decent signs of rotation. And then for a while, it looked like they kind of stretched out and the rotation became more broad. And we said, well, that's a good sign that the storm may be weakening a little bit. But it looks like it kind of got itself together a little bit more. And the National Weather Service may look at this and say that's still enough time to keep this tornado warning going. That's still showing enough signs of rotation to keep this tornado warning going and getting it's heading off toward the east. So eventually, if it would hold together the entire time out toward Lake Winnipesaukee, but the severe thunderstorm warning even ends at about Interstate 93. So Bristol down to Franklin, Plymouth, you're on that line as well. That's the severe thunderstorm warning. The tornado warning ends at about Route 4 here. So as the storm continues to slide off toward the east, we'll make its way there. And again, it's uh, 2.13. The warning goes until 2.15. So in about two minutes, we'll find out what the National Weather Service uh, is thinking here. But uh, based on the velocity data, still showing a little bit of rotation there. So, I mean, I won't be surprised if they continue to keep the tornado warning going. As we travel south, I think this is also important to know, just since we started started, you know, 10 minutes ago when we were talking about the storm sliding their way through Berkshire County and toward Interstate 91, they didn't look like much. And as of now, we are still warning free and there is no severe thunderstorm warning in effect. In fact, if you look close enough, it doesn't even look like there's any lightning. You can see the lightning here on this cell moving toward Hartford. I don't think any of these from what I can see anyway, have any lightning bolts with them from the lightning detection, which is good news. Once you get more lightning, it means the storm is becoming stronger and it's strengthening. So that's not the case. But if you look at just the radar reflectivity returns, we're starting to see more of the reds and more of the yellows, which means these are gathering a little bit of steam. And as they make their way toward the east, like we said, there's plenty of heat and humidity, which is storm fuel that these storms can tap into and perhaps become severe or at a minimum just become a stronger storm and still produce some gusty winds and some hail as well. So we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect. It includes the area that we were just talking about in central New Hampshire that has the tornado warning in effect. That uh, watch goes all the way up to the Canadian border and it travels all the way down to south to uh, Long Island Sound. Notice southeastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod and the islands, you're not in that. That doesn't mean you won't see storms. In fact, it doesn't mean you won't even see a stronger storm, but it's much more likely north and west west of the 95 corridor and especially as you travel toward the 495 belt and north and west of Boston. So this is where uh, more likely the severe storms are, but everyone under that toward, uh, severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. tonight. So this is future radar. Notice by 3 o'clock, so about 45 minutes, these storms starting to push their way into Worcester County, and then by 4 o'clock, they continue to track off toward the east. Again, it's a broken line. It's not a single, you know, squall line that slides on through, but any single one of these cells could be strong to severe. And then by 8 o'clock, they slide on out. There could be a lingering shower, but that first line is going to zap a lot of the energy out of the atmosphere. So these would likely just be a few showers. And Josh, it's 216. Now, can you check for us to see if that has expired absolutely. officially? Yeah, absolutely. As you walk over here, we're continuing to monitor severe storms here in New Hampshire. Meteorologist Josh Worcester is now checking to see if that uh, uh, tornado warning has uh, actually expired at this time. And it has, Ryan. Okay. So there's what we were watching. Um, one thing I want to note, though, is it's still a severe thunderstorm warning. So if you are in this area, the good news is the tornado warning has been canceled. However, the severe thunderstorm warning, that continues. It goes for another 15 minutes until 2.30. Still the potential of some stronger winds and maybe some hail up there. And again, that's north of Concord, north of Manchester. Josh, thank you so much. We keep a close eye on the weather. Also breaking at this hour, President Joe Biden testing positive for COVID-19. You're looking live here at the White House press briefing room right now. We are waiting.